The game has a streamer mode. So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, <laughs> Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I, I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> oh. oh shit, look at that. All right, uh, let me try. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Look around the, the office more to see if we can find uh, any sort of posters to help. Stop the count. Uh, Spend the bottle championship is Ooh. coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. There's probably room in the budget. They just decide not to use it. It just mysteriously vanishes into the ether. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! All right, and give me all you got. Let's talk about the Mr. Issues. Lincoln. I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. How would you describe <laughs> your tax plan? Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. <laughs> that had to have hurt him in the polls. Yeah. The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. <laughs> Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be b***ing me, you idiots. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. <laughs> Max, that robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. Yes! <laughs> I love the fact that somebody, yeah, <laughs> the joke stop the count came in earlier, and then here we have... <laughs> Everyone's like, please recount. Finally, please. Mr. President, you're here. That's the oh, president. That's everyone's favorite. People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means. Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. <laughs> Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Uh, fund Independence Hall, fund Statue of Liberty, fund the Alamo. Stat I guess Independence Hall? I don't remember. Does that even do anything? 
It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We now declare today April 22nd, Earth Day. People of America, take this day to ignore all practical concerns and devote all your attention to one day of crackpot extreme environmentalist activism, which you'll forget about for the rest of the year. People of Berkeley, California, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> this is the most uncomfortable thing he's ever said. We now declare today, April 3rd, the beginning of Passover. Shalom! Let my people go! <laughs> Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Take a vacation. It's Max Passover. says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. It's Passover. I'm not a religious man, sir. I wouldn't feel right taking a vacation unless it was a secular holiday. <laughs> Well, be back. Roger that. Which part hasn't aged well? I think some oh, of it's aged pretty good. Mainly because some of it's just. We forever. now declare today April 8th, Easter Sunday. Right. We'd better start hiding eggs on the White House lawn. Already did it, Sam. Max, are these the eggs that are made of metal and shaped like a pineapple and have a pin in them? Don't be silly, Sam. I took the pins out first. <laughs> Hey, Soups. Max says you can take a vacation. It's Easter. I'm not a religious man, sir. I wouldn't feel right taking... Oh, wait, that is well, a Easter thing. Yeah, okay, right. Forgot. Oh, boy! Check out the year this game came out and actually fucking typed Sam at Axe. <laughs> What's Arbor Day? Hold on. We now declare today, April 27th, Arbor Day. Everybody go outside today and hug a tree. Hug nothing? This year, I'm hoping to get the second base. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. We now declare today, April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. <laughs> okay. Hey, Soups. And take a vacation. Max says you can take a vacation. It's Secretary's Day. I'm not a secretary, sir. What? We'll be back. Roger that. Okay. It's the Secretary of Presidential Woo! Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. No, we gotta do this all. Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball uh, true charge of guarding the war room door. <laughs> Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Max, no. Oh, right. Uh, Secretary of Defense, whatever. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Yeah, I mean it's Oops. like written by like a, a, a like a lot of people who are on both like political sides of the spectrum. So I feel it's I uh, I find it's it's entertainingly harmless for the most part. Uh, oh, take a take a memo. Secretary oh. Superball, the president would like you to take a memo. Two people of the planet Earth, we know what you've been doing. Cut it out. Hugs, your nuclear arsenal-wielding leader, etc., etc. Did you get all that? 
No pencils, sir. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. <laughs> I think the war room door is only openable in time of war. Oh, fuck. Stupid old piece. All right, okay then. I'm sorry, I have to talk to these things. Look, Max, it's our old pal. <clears throat> Look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus, keeper of the seven keys. It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semi-finalist, Peepers. That's former child star and embarrassing idol semi-finalist, Governor Peepers. You're a governor too? That's right, I got North Dakota. North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice. We've got a rich and varied history. North Dakota, hope you like snow. North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey! Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Uh, what's there to, what's do, there to do in North Dakota? Plenty! Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course, the majesty of Mount Rushmore! That hasn't been decided yet. Right, I spoke too soon. Uh, what what do? business do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign. Great, the problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell him we're waiting. Max really is president now. It was in the papers. We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms buildup. What was that? Uh, did I say arms buildup? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. <laughs> so long, peeps. Who's the governor of West... No, he's North Dakota. He's West Dakota. He's South Dakota. Hey, Specs. Max, you remember... <clears throat> Most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember, Specs, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject... What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. Okay, all right. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wizard. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. <laughs> Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? I've got a committee addressing the problem. Uh -oh. <gasps> what about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. Fuck. <laughs> Leader Specs. Welcome back, Governor Wizard. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny. How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. That's when the unpleasantness began. <laughs> what was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. 
There was almost a war! But we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the South. We did not! You! I what? You! Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. People will realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy, they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Uh, Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. I want the mustache. I wanted the mustache. Okay, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. That just leaves me with the forehead. All right then, Wizard, we'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final offer. It's not even finished. This will never work. It's just like last time. Okay, uh... Thirsty? Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, hop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Stay dry, Wizman. All right, I think I need to do like a thing here. Uh, what if I grab the bug now? Okay, here's what he said. Those incompetent brothers of mine are messing everything up! What? I didn't say anything. Thank you, sir. Okay, can I use that again? Hey, peepers. Can't we all just get- We can if we all just keep quiet. Honesty is rarely- Okay, no, that's not it. So long. Hey, Specs. No. Lip. Hey, Wizard. What? We almost went- What? Yeah, what? You? Oh, no. Okay. Stay dry. <sighs> Fuck. I know. Okay, here's what he said. Specs thinks he's so smart. We'll see who's the smart one once the Fargo militia comes to town. Thank you, sir. Okay, what about Wizard? And then it... Oh, man. Okay, here's what he said. Oh, artificial grape uh and cherry. High fructose corn syrup, sodium benzoate to preserve flavor. Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's not very useful. I think I need get specs. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick that up. Okay, here's what he said. Those incompetent brothers of mine are messing everything up! What? I didn't say anything. Thank you, sir. Hey, peepers. Uh, so. Hey, Specs. No. Lip. Welcome. That's not. St uh, what can maybe he does that to listen to peepers? Oh, fuck, I don't know how to solve this. I know what I need to do, I just don't know what specifically he wants me to do. <laughs> Okay, here's what he said. Specs thinks he's so smart. We'll see who's the smart one once the Fargo militia comes to town. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, Specs. What business? We're here to get federal rest. It wouldn't be a di if I what? Nothing. Awkward. Mm, oh, Leader Specs. Fuck. I don't remember what to do. Wait, can I do this all? Oh, hi, America! I didn't see you there! 
As you know, I'm Maximilian I, ruler of your quaint little nation. Our borders stretch from the beautiful coasts of California to the not exactly beautiful, but still pretty nice in their own way, coasts along the eastern seaboard. At least they do now. I'm working with my executive staff, Sam, to see about getting us a little more room to work with, if you catch my drift. <laughs> but don't you worry your pretty little heads about that. For now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Toodles! Okay. Uh... National budget. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh... Oh, I can maybe... If I go back to Bosco, I might be able to do a thing. Where are we going, Sam? Get back to the... Back office. to the office. Shotgun! I'm very close. I just need to do a few things, and then I think this will be over. Let's also check on Sybil. Did I change... What did I change my Twitch description to? I don't remember. Hold on. Twitch.tv... Uh Oh yeah, I changed it to be a little more expl explanative explanative That's what eat pant means. Uh there's this there's this image of like a bootleg Bart Simpson that looks like shitty as hell and he just says eat pant and it's like a it's a thing I like to just say. Hi, you Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half oh, and count the yeah. rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. <laughs> I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. <laughs> you're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. <laughs> Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Abe and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. Uh, okay. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's... It's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich. Uh, is that just a coincidence? So, so the, the thing is that she couldn't, she doesn't have enough money to change the dating sign out front. So she started picking up carbon dating as, as, as her new job. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people. Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody's convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Okay. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? 
No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Got it. Okay. See Got you around, it. Sybil. See. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to go and do that at the budget thingy. I don't think there's anything I can do in here. Hey, Bosco. Yeah? Alright. Thanks for stopping by, Stabity. You don't really miss much except for the musical number. <laughs> okay. Uh, Why is it? the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um... Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new stars in America, which I love. So it's no need to target. How can I trick you to play Harvester? I would look I don't know. I played it once a long time ago. I don't know if I wanted to just Ooh. See ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. I have an idea. Whee! Also another idea, I just want to check the office. Remember, there's a gag in this that I forgot to actually show off. <laughs> it's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? What do you think it's going? It's Steak Charmer. Get out of here. You're not coming in. Good, good. It's our favorite. How you doing, Leonard? Leonard? Good, good. Ah, oh, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. This chart pile of scraps serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just Okay, I know those don't change. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the White House now. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Okay. And national budget. This pandemic's off is perfect. Now let's go back. Oh god, I forgot this part's kind of. This part's how I think Where it plays going, out. Sam? This is gonna be <laughs> back to the a lot office. of back and forth. Like a kind of obnoxious level of going back and forth. All right, okay. Sybil's office. Get the thingy. Hmm. Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet but she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair we're stuck here working and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. I mean, might as well take it out. I wonder if I come back after taking away the money. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, probably not. I think she's just is gone for the rest of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. <laughs> uh, da, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A headful today only. 
You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, of course. And preserving the heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Okay. And now... I'm fairly impressed with Bosco for not just constantly breaking character. I mean, he's he's dedicated. He's a dedicated crazy person. He's great. Where are we going, Sam? Okay, back to the White House. We're off. To oh boy! Oh man, back and forth, back and forth. All right. I have to walk around. That's stupid. Okay, I'll give it to Bosco. Thank you. Hello, Thank Comrade you. Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. <laughs> not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the labs. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Got Get it. a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Okay, now back to the White House. Booze is the strongest truth serum in the world. Where are we going, Sam? I don't understand, like, why, why, oh, like, boy. do all this, like, interrogation stuff when all you have to do is put some booze in a person and that's it? It's all you gotta do to get through that. Oh, thank God, it just put me right here. Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda! Sure, why not? That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Simon Max. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents <laughs> was the Stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, <laughs> like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war. War! War! What wondrous thing is this the Defcon Klaxon's ring? A flashing light above the door, there's just one thing it could be. Me. Oh, war. What's that good for? Oh, is it good for? It's it's the good the economy. Economy. It shows the world that we've got stones. We've got stones. And carriers and with fighter drones. Oh, what is it good for? What is it good it's for? It's good for you.
it good for? What is it good it's for? good for you. I can do, I can do, it's can good do, for me. Do. Well, let's not do that again. <laughs> this, ah, oh man, is my favorite fucking musical number in the entire series. Maybe, mm, maybe beaten out by one more. Maybe. Oh god, that song plays in my head so often. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> Dunce cap, what the fuck? How do you like Is the war room everything you thought it would be? And more! The motivational posters were a nice touch. You don't have to be hell bent for wanton destruction to work here, but it helps. Let's get back to war. That's music to my long, fluffy white ears. Is the series known for musical numbers? Uh, not really. There's <laughs> just a few of them, like two or three per season. Except for the last, the last uh, season doesn't have any music numbers What at to all. do in time of war? Yes. Select target, press fire. That's all it says. <laughs> Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? <laughs> it's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. <laughs> the homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. <laughs> There's no beacon for the missile to lock onto. Then we'll just have to do this the slow way. Lock and load, Sam! We're off to Red Square! Some other time, little buddy. It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! This'll oh, teach yeah. him to put me in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> You will bow down before me! Ah, Better pull up a chair, little buddy. Well, what do you know? Uh -huh. Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right! We don't want to ruin the surprise! Uh... Attention, Bosco shoppers! Clean up in aisle everything! Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? <laughs> okay. Uh, and Antarctica's already destroyed. Okay. Okay, one more. Ooh, cookies. Whee! It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Hey, there's gourmet coffee. In case the idea of war makes you insufficiently jittery. I'm plenty juiced just being in here. Let's blow stuff up. Uh, the Dakota situation. The civil war in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Let them thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. Is the same? It looks like Bismarck has fallen to the West Dakotan militia. Oh no! That will wipe out the country's crucial snow and slush reserves. Your compassion for your people is heartwarming, Mr. President. Where are we going, Sam? Uh. Oh, shit! No place. Never mind. I think they added this. Oh, that's wonderful. 
Look, Max, in the White House Garden Pond, it's Jimmy Two Teeth. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. <laughs> that actually does make sense. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver. Okay, the soda. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Back, to the, Back to the office. One thing... So season three becomes a lot more, like, uh... What's the word? Uh, straightforward, a lot more linear. But I kind of appreciate that now that I see how... Rem or rem reminded how much uh, backtracking season one and two kind of had. Made the puzzles a lot less interesting to solve, but goddamn, goddamn, all these loading screens. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Whee! I love the way you land. It's Where so are we going, Sam? Okay, let's go to Lincoln. After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes. Well, he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre conventions, Sam. That's... <laughs> well, I... What? We have you surrounded, Abe. Pull over and let's discuss it. Lincoln Smash! He's a testy little emancipator, isn't he? <sighs> okay. Nice toss, Max. We'd better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. <laughs> okay. Where are we going, Sam? Oh, what are off to the White House. Oh boy! Hell yeah. When I see BL, and then we go. That's good. That's it. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of D.C. and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. <laughs> we haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. <laughs> So close, oh my god. Well, all to my bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! Whee! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days! We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best! Well, it looks like the country is saved. At least from mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit. Four score stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 G. God damn, I love that episode so much.
I think... I don't remember much about, uh... The next episode. I remember, like, a few bits from it, but... For the most part, I remember this, and then the last one better. I just adore this game so much. Please buy a copy so Skunk Ape Games can make a Season 3 remaster that runs on modern hardware. Please. Please, I beg you all. Seven twenty twenty. All right. So that was an extended stream. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get food. And then go to. It's not New Year yet. Uh, we're still one day, uh, one twenty four hours away from New Year. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, today, later today, as in, like, uh, 31st at 6 p.m. EST, we'll be doing our Game of the Year thing where we just kind of ramble about games we played, and that's... Oh, okay. I'll try to get that, the, the Ramble Thing podcast uploaded so you can watch it later. Hopefully edited down, because it's probably going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for sticking around. I'm, I need to go eat food and take a nap. <laughs>